a customer came in and wanted to create this stone bench on their property. We took a look in the one of a kind area and found the seating part, which is this stone, and then a back piece, which was very large. And both of these needed to be cut to create a taper. So when a project like this goes into the fabrication shop, we have to put together a shop quote and get it to Peter Miller who puts it on a design and we can get specific and then computerize the saw to do what it needs to do. So my simple drawing here was take the block of granite and cut a wedge out of it so that we could get two saw cuts and then taper the pieces and then the back piece gets sawn right down the middle. So then we have two pieces that taper for the back. So then Peter worked it out exact like on the bench, what that wedge and the size of that wedge would be and then what it would look like. This is the location of the bench to be installed in Hanover at their property. Now in a project like this, you have to team up with somebody who's the right person. And I decided to go with Tony Smith from Tiger Landscaping. Tony's an artist and he pays attention to detail. And also he has the equipment, he has the patience. So he was the right person. So what we started to do is dig for the footing. We brought in some Princeton Fieldstone from our bulk pile and then we started to get all the pieces together and get organized and how it was going to go together was going to be created on site each one of these blocks weighed about 800 pounds and we had to make sure they fit precisely together we wanted no cement this is a dry installation you have to put a footing in this is concentrated weight we used three quarter crushed stone for the footing. And then we set the two 800 pound stones on top of that footing, got them precisely set together. That's the easy part. Now we have to strap in the back pieces, support them, make sure they're safe and stable and have them fit as tight as the bench. Yeah? You feeling good? Feeling good. Alright. All right. Okay, hey everybody, I'm working with Tony. We're creating this stone bench. It's kind of funky and cool. We'll show you how it's all going together. But this is the most important part of this job. This is Tony's shovel. All I want you to know is my arms are killing me, and this is what I'm working with. He said he's going to put a new point on it. Dear God, could someone please buy this man a shovel? Pants. And some pants. I know. Woo! You got her. You got the A for balance. Once we got one of the back pieces up, we had to start supporting it with some of that Princeton field stone. Really large, round, heavy stone. And then we wanted medium and smaller stones. We wanted to use a real mix of field stones, so it felt very natural. So these pieces have to line up the top of that, 
to the top of that. This is our fourth time setting this, this big baby. Got more digging out to do. Tony, back. Oh, oh, back, oh, that, that way. way, not this, that, the other, the Tony, other back. that way, that, that way, the Tony. Uh, where's my shovel? Finally, after several tries with all these four pieces, we got it lined up correctly. Everything was level where it should be level, and then there needed to be a bevel to it so that the back pieces leaned forward slightly to be supported by the bench. Now it was time to add the rest of the Princeton. So you're seeing larger Princeton boulder pieces for the armrests and then smaller boulders surrounding it, everything from a basketball to a two and a half inch stone. We wanted to feel very natural and we wanted that Princeton and all the other field stones we brought in to support the back for final security and strength. And then in the front of the bench, we used a piece of Heartland ocean floor stone we wanted that to just be nestled right in there as if all of this just naturally is in this setting when you come upon it. 